Well, who were here since the first seven weeks should we stay on this side of the class. The elderly. The elderly people. Okay, um, number one, Demar, read that for us. Make a data table to keep track of all mining costs and all monies. <laughs> Gain all mining. Do this in the form of a ledger sheet um, with total profit or loss at the bottom. You can present the, this information in any format. You just make sure that all information is included in your ledger sheet. All right, so um, what... Occupation would use a ledger sheet. Okay. I mean, I don't know what a ledger sheet is. Good question. Like Construction. Like the stuff that you've got. Business. An accountant. Good, Sarah. So on the back, I've already made out a very simple ledger sheet for you guys. Um, in ledger sheets, you have two different things you put down. What are they? Credit and code. Credits and... Debits. <laughs> Credits are positive things, money that comes in. Debits are thing, money that leaves. So the only credits you're going to have today is the coal that you get money for. And the only debits you're going to have, well, the debits you're going to have today are how much your mine costs, how much your mining time costs, how much your reclamation time costs, and how much your equipment costs. So all of those things you're going to add together, and that'll give you a total and we'll help you determine whether you made money like these people or lost money like these, okay? So that's where you're gonna fill that information in. Now on the, uh, let's see, the cookie mines. So we have Publix brand, which is gonna be generic store brand. We've got Chewy and we've got Chips Deluxe, which is actually gonna be Chunky Chips. So if you wanna change that to Chunky, um, you'll have to decide which mine that you want to buy to, or purchase um, to extract the coal from. Number three, Andrea. Number three, places. The yeah, it should be place, sorry. <laughs> place the cookie on the graph paper and trace the outline of the cookie. You will have to reclaim the land to the original shape after the chips or ore have been removed. So any cookie crumb that falls outside of the original circle must be put back into the circle or you can be charged for damage to the environment. All right, this is where you're gonna do your cookie mining. We're not gonna use scrap paper, you're just gonna put it on here. You're gonna draw a circle around the cookie and that's where you're going to do your mining. Now, stuff can get outside of that mine area. It's just when you reclaim it, you're gonna to have to put everything back in that circle. So that's the initial while we're putting it there. Um, number four, mash your cookie using a digital skill. Record this mass. Just write it out beside number four. You don't need to put it on the ledger sheet. Uh, so you, there's plenty of uh, balances for you guys to use. Just turn it on. I would put a little piece of paper towel on top of it. You can get a little like half a piece of paper towel to do. Um, hit the tear button, which just zeroes it out, and then put your cookie on there and write down the mass, okay? Because we're gonna use that later on to figure out how much coal was in your mind, like the percentage, okay? Number five, you are not to touch the cookie or anything other than the mining equipment while you're mining. So while you're doing your mine time or your reclamation time, you can only use your tools and equipment that you have. Mining equipment. So we have plastic toothpicks for $2. We have the round normal wooden toothpicks for five and we have paper clips for six. If you break any, you gotta pay double, but you can bend the paper clips. I will let you do that. Number seven, Sarah. Mining and reclamation time costs $2 a minute with a maximum time allowed of five minutes to mine and $5 a minute with the maximum of five minutes to reclaim. So you're gonna to need to set your phone up or look at the clock on the wall over there and I would just hit start once you're ready and it's gonna cost $2 for every minute that you mine. So getting the chocolate chips out of the cookie. And you can only do it for a maximum of five minutes. And then once you reclaim, we'll come back to that in a minute. So, um, but you need to think of it in terms of like equipment rental, DeMar, where if you go over, like let's say you go two minutes and five seconds, you've went into your next day of mining. So you're gonna to have to pay for a full three days. So make sure that you stop on or before whatever that minute is. Uh, number eight, Reagan. Have your lab partner time, while you, time you while you mine. Put the chips aside as you get them out of the cookie. 
You have a maximum of five minutes to mine, but you can use less than that if you wish. Number nine, Simona. When mining is completely ignored for chips, chips are divided at five dollars per gram. Take partial chips and put them together to make the whole chip. Mass the chips and mine in the point on the side. All right, the price of coal has went up. The coal that you're going to be mining is $15 per gram. You can change that now so you'll remember it tomorrow. Thank you. Um, when you're through mining, so whatever your mine time is, you're through, you've got your chips off to the side. Now, this needs to be, it's important, you need to make sure that your chips are, your coal is cleaned off. So you don't want a bunch of dirt hanging on the side of it. If it's got a thin film of dirt, that's okay. But if it's like, pieces of it needs to be needs to be chiseled off with your mining equipment so make sure that no more than like five percent of what you're weighing is um, the dirt on the outside of your coal okay make sure it's cleaned up really well number 10 after mining the remaining rock must be placed back in the surface. so once you've removed all your chips or your coal then you're going to have to reclaim that area and put it all back in that same space using your equipment so you'll hit go and you'll get all that stuff back into that space where that circle was. And so it costs $5 per minute for every minute that you use. And so um, that's pretty expensive. So make sure you uh, move quickly there. Number 11, or maybe more importantly, don't make as big of a mess to start with. Number 11 tomorrow. No, don't worry about number 11. Here's what we're gonna do for 11, where you're comparing some of the other groups. Um, I'm gonna erase this data up here. Well, there's not many people in here, so um, we can probably just leave it up. I'm gonna erase some of these in the middle. Uh, what I want you to do is I want you to round off to the nearest dollar amount, how much money you made or lost, okay? So once you add up your ledger sheet, and then I also want you to give me the percent of coal that was in your cookie. So, meaning you're gonna to have to take the amount of chocolate chips that you weigh and divide that by the total weight of the cookie and multiply it times 100 to get the percentage of chips in the cookie and put that up. So, put the amounts you made or lost and the percent of chips in the cookie that you had, put those up here so we can kind of see how um, your groups compared to the other groups. Okay, doesn't really, you're not getting counted off. You, if you lose money, um, I'm more hoping that you go through the process and understand what's going on. It's really more of a business lesson than anything, to be honest. Um, but there are some difficulties that arise with the mining, and we talked about some of that. So, and the importance of getting everything put back. What's the law that makes you uh, put everything back where it was? Reclamation. The Surface Mining Reclamation Act in 1977. Good. So, um, yeah, so what you're going to do is you're going to come up, you'll tell me which cookie you want and what's your equipment. I'll hand it to you on a paper plate and then you can go get to work. Um, any other questions? Are you working in groups? You're working individually. Okay.